Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today we are testing out this brand new X-Tool S1. And I have already done a review video on this, but we are focusing on that twin point positioning system. Now this new system is supposed to be at least close to using a camera for measuring things up. So we're gonna kind of test it out and see how it does. Now before we get into the actual testing, I have tried out a lot of different dial lasers and I've always been kind of surprised how little focus they give to exactly where that laser head is starting. Now, if you are just planning on cutting out like a simple shape and engraving the center, it might not be super specific where that laser head is when you start, but if you wanna do exact detail, if you wanna do engraving in a center, for example, you're gonna really wanna know exactly where that laser head is. Now, what this twin point positioning system is supposed to do is you're gonna be able to say you put in a square board, for example. You're gonna take those two points and you're gonna get in the software exactly where that board is as opposed to the laser head. So this way when you're editing in your software, you can put all whatever you wanna engrave, whatever you wanna cut, and you're gonna have a very accurate point to reference. Now one of the things I always liked about the X-Tool D1 Pro is it had that laser beam. So you could kinda of get uh, accurate point of where you're starting from each time. Now the S1 has kind of just taken that up a notch. So not only do you have that laser beam like the D1 Pro had, but you're also being able to make now that two point reference to kind of get the, a better image. So not only does that S1 have that laser beam like the D1 Pro does that kind of shines down, but you're also gonna have that ability to make those two points make that mark and really get an accurate idea of where your material is. All right, with all that being said, let's get to testing out this system. All right, I'm gonna start the marking process here. We're gonna try to line it up as best we can. Got the first one done. On that bottom corner there. All right, then we're done, and there we got it. All right, just kind of want to go through the process in the X-Tool software here to make that uh, twin point positioning system work. Go to the marking process area here, and I am just hit the first mark on the actual laser. And so I got my first, uh, first mark upper left, and then you can see that kind of laser or that cross going down at the bottom and I made my other mark so now I'm done so that's exactly the size of my material on there so it's really cool how you can uh, kind of map that out in the software you get it really precise like that yeah I'll do a rectangle here and we're just kind of get a rectangle all centered out on that material I'm just going to kind of score this I think I don't think I need to actually Cut it out, I think it'll be able to see a little better if I just score it. Just kind of adjust my power settings here. Don't really score all that often, so just kind of guessing at some of these settings. And yeah, let's, uh, let's try this out. And we will see what happens. All right, let's see how it did here. All right, and as you can see, hopefully you can see how it just followed that exactly how I had it in the software. So that worked out re that worked out really well. So now with the traditional system, you could not get it that accurate at all. So test number one is done and it did an amazing job. So what I don't think, it's hard to kind of explain, but say I didn't notice the size of this board. So if you just have one reference point in that top corner, you don't really know when you're, lay, when you're trying to lay out your graphics or whatever you're cutting, you don't really know for sure how far that's gonna go over. So you can measure it obviously and you can match up those measurements on your software. Say this was six inches, you mark that center point first then you mark six inches in your software and you're kind of trying to reference this. 
But with that two point system, you basically know exactly where your working material is gonna be on there. So you know how much working material you have. So you're not gonna go over the edges or anything. You can get it all squared away in the software. You know exactly how much material you have to work with and you can just start designing from there. For our next test, we're gonna use that same material. I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm probably gonna make some smaller squares. I'll just use a pencil mark to go. And so I don't have to make like a huge engraving but I'll make some smaller squares and then we'll try to line up uh, an engraving and trying to center it. So we'll use the two points, but we won't use the whole material this time. We'll just use part of it. So let's try that. All right, now we're gonna just kind of take a basic star shape here and we're gonna kind of center it on, on the material there. And it looks just about right there. I'm actually gonna to wanna to cut this one out. So we're gonna cut, go up to 100% power. Uh, maybe we'll go down the speed just a little bit there and yeah. That should work. So test number two, I think went just as well as test number one cut out the star exactly where I wanted to cut. I have to say too, with that protective shield on this S1 and that auto uh, fume extraction, it's just, uh, it's just amazing. The D1 Pro, I had to build the whole enclosure to do everything that this machine comes in all in one. So highly recommend that feature of it as well. Now I also have the Xtool P2 laser, which comes with that full camera system. And I gotta say, it's hard to beat that camera as far as when you're cutting material that has already been cut. So you could take a picture of this, you already know that star is there and you can kind of work around it. But if you're not doing that, I have to say that this dual point system works very closely to that camera system. Now I have seen some comments, people wanting that camera system on this, thinking, oh, this is kind of a gimmick. I personally do not think this is a gimmick. I personally think for most users, this is gonna be more than adequate for what you need to know exactly your, where your materials are at. All right, the last test I'm gonna do doesn't really focus necessarily on that two-point system, but I'm gonna focus on the laser system itself. Now, one key feature that a lot of people wanna do is you wanna take an item and you wanna engrave something and you want it center. Now, if you are cutting that item and you can cut it and engrave it all at once, it's, it's a lot easier to do. But say if you have a star that's already cut, so you're not making the cut, to try to center it up on this star with a dial laser like this, it's not always the easiest thing to do. And that's where it comes down to having that laser be shining in so you know exactly where dead center is. So that test is gonna be, let's uh, make an engraving and let's try to get nice and center on the star. All right, so there you have the three tests. As you can see, that engraving was nice and center. I could have lowered it down. So there can be a little fine tuning, especially when you're working with that center laser feature. But overall, it did an amazing job.
So if you do have any questions on this S1 or that dual point system, please leave them in that comment section below. I will also provide my affiliate link down there. So if you wanna buy an S1 for yourself or any X2 laser for that matter, I'll leave that affiliate link with the coupon code. Now that will save you money. It helps my channel. It's kind of a win-win. So I really appreciate it when people use those codes. And with that being said, I'm Chad from Chad DIY and we'll see you on the next one.